गुड आफ्टरनून दिस इज आकाशवाणी एंड आई मनुचा कुमार विद द मिड डे न्यूज द हेडलाइंस बोथ हाउसेज ऑफ पार्लियामेंट एडजर्न टिल टू पी एम फॉलोइंग अप्रोरियस सीन्स ओवर मणिपुर इश्यू गवर्नमेंट एक्यूजेज ऑपोजिशन ऑफ रनिंग अवे फ्रॉम डिबेट फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर निर्मला सीतारामन सेज गवर्नमेंट हैज इंस्ट्रक्टेड ऑल बैंक टू डील विद लोन रीपेमेंट इश्यूज विद सेंसिटिविटी एंड ह्यूमेन अप्रोच सुप्रीम कोर्ट सस्पेंड साइंटिफिक सर्वे बाय ए एस आई एट ज्ञानवापी मॉस कॉम्प्लेक्स इन वाराणसी टिल ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑफ जुलाई थर्ड एंड फाइनल मीटिंग ऑफ जी ट्वेंटी डिजास्टर रिस्क रिडक्शन वर्किंग ग्रुप बिगिन्स इन चेन्नई आई एम डी वॉर्न्स ऑफ हेवी रेन इन गुजरात महाराष्ट्र गोवा एंड कोस्टल कर्नाटक टूडे एंड इंडियन वीमेन्स सॉफ्ट बॉल टीम टू टेक पार्ट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन एशियन गेम्स एट हांगजू इन चाइना इन सेप्टेम्बर एंड नाउ द न्यूज इन डिटेल Both houses of parliament today continued to witness protests from the opposition parties over the issue of Manipur violence on the third consecutive day. The Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha were adjourned till 2 p.m. In the Lok Sabha when the house met after first adjournment at 12 noon, members of opposition parties including Congress, DMK and JDU again trooped into the well raising slogans and displaying placards. They were demanding Prime Minister Narendra Modi's statement in the house over Manipur violence. Amid din, three P bills were introduced in the house. Amid ruckus, the presiding officer repeatedly urged the protesting members to allow the house to function, but they continued with their sloganeering, leading to adjournment of the house till 2 p.m. In the morning, when the house met for the day, members of opposition parties trooped into the well, raising slogans and displaying placards. Amit Din, Speaker Om Birla said, the government is ready for discussion and it can be taken up after 12 noon after all party consensus. I am very happy to be here. 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 In the Rajya Sabha when the house met after first adjournment at 12 noon opposition members from Congress Aam Aadmi Party DMK and others trooped into the well demanding the prime minister's statement on the Manipur issue on the floor of the house Chairman Jagdeep Dhankar repeatedly asked the protesting members to allow the house to function but they continued with their protest Amit Din the chairman tried to run the questionnaire but in vain he suspended Aam Aadmi Party MP Sanjay Singh for remaining part of the current monsoon session for his unruly behavior later the house was adjourned till 2 pm Parliamentary Affairs Minister Prahlad Joshi today accused the opposition of running away from debate on the Manipur violence issue talking to reporters outside the parliament he said no one is able to understand opposition strategy Mr Joshi reiterated that the government is ready for discussion on the Manipur violence issue and urged the opposition to take part in the discussion Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman has said that the government has instructed all banks to deal with loan repayment issues with sensitivity and humane approach replying to a supplementary during the question hour today the minister said it has come to her notice that some private and public sector banks act mercilessly in cases of loan repayments she added that suitable instructions in consultation with the RBI have been issued to banks to deal with such cases in a humanitarian manner i know i've heard complaints about how very mercilessly the paying back has been followed up by some banks whether they are public sector banks or private sector banks the government has made sure through the rbi also to trust such banks that such hard steps should not be taken and that they should approach this whole matter with a humanity in mind and sensitivity in mind that instruction has been given to all the banks be it private or public 
The government today said the extension of the deadline for the exchange of 2000 rupee note beyond 30th of September this year is not under consideration at present in a written reply in the Lok Sabha the minister of state for finance Pankaj Chaudhary said as per the Reserve Bank of India the value of 2000 rupee denomination bank notes in circulation is 84000 crore rupees and the percentage of 2000 rupees denomination in total bank notes in circulation is 2.51% as on the 30th of last month the minister of skill development and entrepreneurship dharmendra pradhan has informed that over 27 lakh 87000 candidates were skilled under pradhan mantri koshal vikas yojana between 2020 and 2023 in his reply during the question hour in lok sabha today he said that 46.43% of those skilled candidates are women this jansha desh mein कटिंग एज स्किल्स आ रहे हैं न्यू एज स्किल्स आ रहे हैं रिसर्च करके मैं उदाहरण देना चाहूंगा आईटी सेक्टर में सेमी कंडक्टर में डिजिटाइजेशन की नया दुनिया में महिलाओं की आवश्यकता उसमें और लगने वाला है मोबाइल इंडस्ट्री में सारे पैकेजिंग असेंबलिंग के काम महिला करते हैं आने वाले दिनों में इसकी संख्या बढ़ेगी The government today introduced the National Nursing and Midwifery Commission Bill 2023 in the Lok Sabha. The bill seeks to provide for regulation and maintenance of standards of education and services by nursing and midwifery professionals. The bill was introduced by Union Health and Family Welfare Minister Dr. Mansukh Mandviya. The minister also introduced the National Dental Commission Bill 2023 in the Lok Sabha. The bill is intended to regulate the profession of dentistry in the country. It also aimed at providing quality and affordable dental education. The two bills were introduced amid continuous protest by opposition parties over the Manipur violence issue. The Constitution Scheduled Caste Order Amendment Bill 2023 was introduced in the Lok Sabha today. The bill seeks to amend the Constitution Scheduled Caste Order 1950 to modify the list of scheduled castes in the state of Chhattisgarh. Social Justice Minister Dr. Virendra Kumar introduced the bill amid din. The government has withdrawn the DNA Technology Use and Application Regulation Bill 2019 from the Lok Sabha. Science and Technology Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh moved the motion in this regard which was accepted with a voice vote. This is Akashwani giving you the news for quick news updates around the clock. Follow us on Twitter handle at air news alerts. The Supreme Court today suspended the survey being conducted by Archaeological Survey of India or ASI at Gyanwapi Mosque in Varanasi for 2 days. The Apex Court ordered the ASI not to conduct the detailed scientific survey and directed the Muslim petitioners to approach the Allahabad High Court for remedies. A bench headed by Chief Justice of India D.Y. Chandrachur said the court gave time till 26th of this month to the Gyanwapi Mosque Management Committee to challenge the ASI order of the Varanasi Court before the High Court. A scientific investigation began today to determine if the mosque located next to the Kashi Vishwanath Temple in Varanasi was built upon a temple. A 30-member team of ASI began the survey in the morning. The development came after Muslim petitioners from the Mosque Management Committee filed a plea seeking a stay on a Varanasi district court's order for an ASI survey of the mosque. The Uttar Pradesh government will construct Kalyan Mandapam in each district of the state for holding weddings and other auspicious programs. Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath announced the scheme yesterday. Addressing a public rally in Gorakhpur, Mr. Yogi said the Kalyan Mandapam scheme would start from Gorakhpur. Each Kalyan Mandapam would be constructed at a cost of around 1.5 crore rupees. The facility will be equipped with a hall, guest room, lawn, parking, etc. Kalyan Mandapam would make weddings affordable for weaker sections of the society. The Chief Minister also announced an international sports stadium in Gorakhpur. He laid the foundation stone of a mini sports complex in the city and inaugurated various development projects. Mr. Yogi reiterated his government's commitment to promote sports and provide world-class facilities to the players. Prime Minister Modi ji ne 
खेलो इंडिया खेलों के माध्यम से सांसद खेलकूद प्रतियोगिता के माध्यम से फिट इंडिया मूवमेंट के माध्यम से एक नई जागृति लाने का कार्य किया और इसके लिए ने प्रयास प्रारंभ किए आज प्रदेश के हर जनपद में एक स्पोर्ट्स स्टेडियम का निर्माण हो रहा है विकास खंड स्तर पर एक मिनी स्टेडियम का निर्माण हो रहा है हर ग्राम पंचायत में एक खेल के मैदान की स्थापना हो रही है हर पार्क और हर ग्राम पंचायत में ओपन जिम का निर्माण भी हो रहा है और खिलाड़ियों के प्रोत्साहन के लिए अनेक कार्यक्रम संचालित हो रहे हैं इन न्यूज जस्ट इन द लोकसभा हैज बीन एडजर्न टिल टू थर्टी एंड द राज्यसभा टिल थ्री पी एम एम इड द अप्रोर ओवर मणिपुर इश्यू The third and final meeting of G20 Disaster Risk Reduction Working Group under the Indian Presidency began today in Chennai. The meeting brings together G20 countries and their leadership, international organizations and knowledge partners to engage in drafting the communique, encapsulating shared commitments and key recommendations regarding the working group's priority areas. These areas include the global coverage of early warning systems disaster and climate resilient infrastructure financing framework for disaster risk reduction disaster response system and the ecosystem based approach to disaster risk reduction address the gathering g20 sherpa of india amitabh khan said that this final meeting of disaster risk reduction shows the collective spirit of unity and collaboration of g20 countries coming together to institutionalize this new work stream in the sherpa track under india's presidency principal secretary to the prime minister p k mishra stressed on the importance of national and global efforts which actively seek convergence and maximize their collective impact he said fragmented efforts that are driven by narrow institutional perspectives cannot be afforded India Meteorological Department IMD has warned of heavy rain in Gujarat, Maharashtra, Goa and coastal Karnataka today. We spoke to senior scientist at IMD RK Jinamani about the forecast for today. Isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall observed over Konkan, Goa and then Madhya Maharashtra, Karnataka, Gujarat and Uttarakhand and orange color warning we have issued for all these region today and then there is a likelihood of low pressure formation over Bay of Bengal of Odisha coast during next 24 hours and hence rainfall likely to increase over Odisha, Chhattisgarh and Andhra Pradesh. The IMD has issued an orange alert for heavy to very heavy rainfall in isolated areas in seven districts of Maharashtra including Palghar and Raigarh. For Mumbai and Thane, the IMD has issued a yellow alert for heavy rainfall in isolated places. More from our correspondent. Mumbai and its adjoining areas are witnessing intermittent heavy rainfall. The city recorded over 100 mm of rainfall between yesterday and today morning. The IMD's weather station at Santa Cruz recorded 101 mm of rain, whereas the Kolaba Observatory recorded 45 mm of rainfall. The Mumbai Pune highway was blocked for some time due to a landslide last night. The traffic in the city is moving slower than normal due to water logging in certain areas. Train on all three lines are running normally. The Softball Association of India unveiled a 16-member Indian women's team today which will compete at the Asian Games in Hangzhou to be beginning from 23rd of September. Softball has been included in the continental event for the first time. Softball Asia granted the Indian women's softball team a wild card admission based on their regular participation in the Asian Championships. Key domestic indices were trading flat in the afternoon trade amid mixed global queues. The Sensex at the Bombay Stock Exchange rose 6 points to trade at 66,690. The Nifty at the National Stock Exchange was up by 11 points to trade at 19,756 a short while ago. In a bilingual live phone-in program, Public Speak at 9.30 tonight, we will bring an insightful discussion on the topic of consumer awareness, rights and responsibilities with Pushpa Girimaji. expert on consumer rights and safety issues during the program listeners will have the opportunity to pose questions to our expert on various aspects of consumer awareness and now before we end the bulletin the headlines once again lok sabha adjourned till 2:30 and rajya sabha till 3 pm following uproarious scenes over manipur issue government accuses opposition of running away from debate Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman says government has instructed all banks to deal with loan repayment issues with sensitivity and humane approach. 
सुप्रीम कोर्ट सस्पेंस साइंटिफिक सर्वे बाय एएसआई एट ज्ञानवापी मॉस कॉम्प्लेक्स इन वाराणसी टिल ट्वेंटी ऑफ जुलाई थर्ड एंड फाइनल मीटिंग ऑफ जी ट्वेंटी डिजास्टर रिस्क रिडक्शन वर्किंग ग्रुप बिगिन्स इन चेन्नई आई एम डी वॉन्स ऑफ हेवी रेन इन गुजरात महाराष्ट्र गोवा एंड कोस्टल कर्नाटक टूडे एंड इंडियन वीमेन्स सॉफ्टबॉल टीम टू टेक पार्ट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन एशियन गेम्स एट हांगजू इन चाइना इन सेप्टेम्बर एंड विद दैट वी एंड द मिड डे न्यूज़